Welcome back, folks, to Kira Questions. I am Technivorous, and this is the series where I answer your Kira questions. Today's question is about settings and accessibility. So stick around, and we'll go over how to access all the settings you can't find. Hey folks, welcome to another Cure Questions video. Today we have a question from UAV HD and the question is, I downloaded 4.11, but when I follow your video, you have more options and settings than I do. How do I get all these options? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to get all these options. We're going to flip over to Cure real quick. And it's pretty simple actually. You can see if I start out here, I have my settings open. I can back up to the recommended settings, okay? And from here, I can see the basics. I can see my profile, my line height, my infill percentage, whether or not I have support and adhesion turned on. Now from here, you can go ahead and click custom, and it'll give you a lot more settings. Now the reason I have so many settings available is actually because of the fact that I went into my preferences here, and I selected all. Now in here, you can either select basic, advanced, expert, or all. Now all will give you every single option available. You can also select custom and that will allow you to turn off and on stuff that you use and declutter this. So a lot of these I don't actually use. I could go through here and do a custom selection and clean it out and I think uh, just kind of select the ones I want. Initial layer height, line width we want, we don't need the subs, wall extruder we don't need, wall thickness, wall line count we want, Horizontal expansion I use quite a bit. So these are the settings that I use on a regular basis. So you can turn any of these on or off at will. All you have to do is click the little checkbox, and then when you close it, it'll show up over here. But using this is a good way to keep see. There's a lot of settings in here. So with all turned on, it takes quite a while to scroll through them all. Although I will give you one other quick tip and tell you if you want to find a setting and you have all of them turned on let's say I want to find my infill I can just type it in here that's why the box is there and it'll give me all the settings that have to do with infill and you can see infills main is down here all of these settings that are grayed out are settings that I do not have turned on in my custom settings so if I go back into my preferences and let's see infill line distance let's find that and I'll show you what I'm talking about here infill and see it's turned off so I can click it and turn it on and it becomes black here meaning it's available in my profile so now when I close this excuse me when I get rid of that it gives me all the settings from my custom profile and when I go down to infill infill line distance is there now I don't necessarily need that setting I'm not saying I recommend that setting but you can play around with it and get a lot of different stuff in here and then take away and add and subtract and make your own kind of custom settings according to what you use the most so there are certain things that you're not going to turn off no matter what such as line thickness and layer height and things like that although they can be turned off um, if you don't change them at all absolutely turn them off just just adjust the things I mean you can take this down so it says I mean just temperature and whether or not the fan is on and whether or not there's adhesion if those are all the settings that you want because you're printing at the same speed and you want to change those between pet g and pla i mean you can do that so i hope that that was useful to you and like i said you can search settings that even aren't shown here so if you can't find a setting absolutely can't find it search for it here and if you still can't find it go in here and this will do the same so let's do uh we can turn on all of our ironing or off all of our ironing uh subsections right here so uh, it's pretty simple. If you'd like to get available settings that you don't have now, that's how you do it. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Leave a like on this video down below if it helped you out. Don't forget, I love those thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. I need more subscribers. I'm always trying to build that base. And if you don't mind, tell a friend. I mean, these videos I make for the community, and I hope they're pretty helpful. I get a lot of positive comments on them. If you have any questions about Kira or a specific setting, or how to use something first, I highly recommend you check over in that corner over there. I'm gonna put a card up. That'll take you to my playlist of Cure Questions. There's over 30 videos in that playlist of questions people have already asked. And if you can't find the subject there that you wish to have an answer to, please leave me a comment down below in any one of these Cure Questions videos. And as you can see, I go through them regularly and make videos for people who have questions. So that's gonna be it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out. 
Stick around guys, I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.